time has finally come for one of the most beloved videos of the year. We are taking on Doncaster, but that is not the reason why it's special. We are going for youth academy talents from all around the world, but only from countries that are actually not in the game. Countries that you cannot scout on FC24. So Doncaster, let me jump right in and bring in some hidden gems from all around the world from countries that have not been shown love by EA. Let's dive in and create an incredible rest of the world squad today and take over world football. Let's do this. It does sound pretty exciting. Much respect to the team of Doncaster. They are obviously not a terrible side because if we look into how things are going for them at the moment, we can see that Doncaster is in the 18th position. They are not necessarily in massive danger of going down yet, but as we know, the lower divisions in England, they have a ton of games. So don't get used to too many of these players because we will be replacing every single one of them with players that obviously are not naturally in the game and shouldn't be. So I'm very excited about that. Now in the Youth Academy, do we have anything in there? We have Czech. Ah, actually, we can't use any of these guys because they're they're from the regular countries, basically. So all of these guys, sorry, but you are getting released. Bye-bye. So how does this work? Some of you guys might be wondering. Obviously, it's only possible due to me using mods on PC. The ones that I'm personally using, the only ones I'm using, are the ones from Aranaktu. It's a guy on YouTube. You can look him up. Uh, his mod is called Live Editor. And then you can use the cheat engine along with that. Just in case a couple of you guys want to get involved and play career mode the fun way. Uh, get it on PC. Never get it on console. But I will be getting myself some decent... Uh, scouts here. Initially, I would love to start off with someone that has four star, three star, because I do believe that is what I can afford. Oh, maybe not. I only have one million. I'm going to sell a bunch of players right now. Actually, you know what? I've sold a bunch of players. I have about three million, 2.988, and I could get myself a four star experience, five star judgment scout. This is a huge risk I'm taking on, but Leon Hobson, I'm signing you for basically all of my budget. And I still need to sell a couple more players to be able to send them out to scout and sign those players. So using the cheat engine, I can now go ahead and choose basically any country here, right? And then click, I want a goalkeeper. Send this one out there. And instantly, instead of, of it being England, it will be Madagascar. Yes! Our first country being scouted is going to be Madagascar. I also have gotten myself the right coaches to prepare us for this season. The strategy for the team is going to be gig and pressing in general. But I've brought in a bunch of goalkeeping coaches and defensive coaches as much as I could. Because I do fully know that that is going to be the most important thing for us to be successful. And there's another one that I would love to sign, but I don't even have money to sign a coach. I need to sell some players quick. For this Doncaster team and this rebuild in general, I want to build up the team in the 4 triple two formation. I want to give myself defensive safety with two CDMs, but then also give myself the most options moving forward with two center attacking mids and two strikers just going in and smashing everybody. The first scout report ever. Madagascar, what do you have for us? 110k goalkeeper, 190k. Oh, Romeo Zafimihari. Yep. He's the one. Six foot three. Get in there, lads. You are now my goalkeeper. And he has massive potential as well. Oh, I love it. Lads, this is the perfect start. We can sign this one as a backup goalkeeper as well. We have brought in a goalkeeper for this series immediately, which is perfect because I need to get as many starting 11 players as possible in as fast as I can because obviously I'm going to be, you know, not necessarily having multiple scouts out there. And if I can just use one to get multiple positions in one season, that is great. In the Youth Academy, we can now see... Oh, both are 60 rated. But this guy has way more potential. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to keep this guy in the Youth Academy for at least this season, if, if he allows me to. But this one, I'm going to bring in into the starting lineup instantly. And I'm going to get rid of the other goalkeeper I have to make sure that this man gets the playtime he deserves. Actually, they're both on the same rating. So hopefully, Zafi Mihari is going to be the main man. Up next, we are going for a technically gifted center attacking midfielder. And we are sending our scout now to England 
of the Trinidad and Tobago. As I told you, man, we're going to send these guys to countries that don't exist in the game. And this is amazing to see. Or at least I should say countries that you cannot send the scouts to at least, you know. But hey, Trinidad and Tobago, this is going to be fun. Second month of scouting in Trinidad and Tobago. And sadly, lads, this country has not been good to us, I wanted to say, until we found Junior Joseph, who is 15 years old. But he has a very decent value on him. And that might be one of the first ones that comes in. The other one, despite the value being high, his overall rating is going to be too far low. Sadly, we are now into the third month of scouting from Trinidad and Tobago. And so far, nothing special. I have signed one player I'll show in a second, but he's 15. So it wasn't really worth showing you so far. Donald Daniels. Ah, uh, Trinidad, you're letting me down. Oh, this guy's worth 425k. Okay, I'll sign him. Maybe we at least got one player out of it. Or two. Derek Roberts is the other one. So three players in total have now been signed from Trinidad and Tobago. And the big question is, what is his rating? Please tell me I can put one of these guys into the starting 11 instantly. 60. Oh, that's the goalkeeper. Okay, so Junior Joseph is the one that I signed earlier that you guys didn't see. He's 15, but he has high potential. So that's a good one for the future, possibly. Roberts, 57. Williams, 57. Both up to 94 potential, but probably Roberts the better one between the two. So, 57 is good enough. I could sign both of these guys instantly and put them into the starting 11. And I think that's what I'm going to do. And there it is. Left attacking midfielder, Roberts. He has the Trivella playstyle. Williams has the Tiki Taka. Does our goalkeeper have anything? Far throw and rush out. Okay, I'm not against it. Zafi Mihari, by the way, is now on a 62 rating. He's the one playing all the time. And uh, that is due to the fact that I injured both the other goalkeepers to make sure he gets that play time. I mean, you got to do what you got to do in order to play your in order to play your youngsters. Up next, we are going for a striker. And I am in the Asian region. But as you guys can tell, one country is missing. And we are going in for Thailand. Everybody's favorite place to go to, apart from possibly like Bali and stuff when it comes to Asian travel and like holidays. That's the type of stuff people love. So Thailand, definitely a place I want to go to. I think there's one spot that's called like Kao Lak, and it's supposed to be beautiful. One day. I've been looking for a striker in Thailand for already three months and have found absolutely no one. But this guy might just have the best name. This is the third month, Klahan Buteyothi. I mean, just for the name alone, I would love to sign him, but he's actually terrible. And by the way, as we go into this one, let me know in the comments down below, guys, which countries do you believe should be added into the scouting pool? I truly believe that EA should just open it up for all the countries. I'm really surprised as to why they can't just do that. I would love to be able to access all the countries just with the game itself without mods. Let me know which one you would like to have in the game as well. But here we go. Last one from Thailand. No way. This guy's the same name. He has literally the exact same name. I didn't even realize. Klahan Butayoti. <laughs> I love that name. Okay, he's worth 700k. That is the most value any player had that we have signed so far. Love it. Great one for us. This one is not that good. This one neither. I'm happy that we just got one. So all good. And this guy's Angon. What's his name? Angon. 1.4 mil. He's double the value. Yes. Let's go, dude. Incredible stuff. We are signing Angon. Chansung Noen as well. Guys, with that, we have now signed two hopefully incredible players that I can pop straight into that striking position. Fall and I are inside. I'm sorry, lads. I need to let you go. So, striker 51. Oh no, these are the other ones that I signed earlier from the other scat reports because I thought they were actually good. They are trash. Oh my god, they are terrible. But this one, 61 rated. Yes, sign him right now. And then this one can go as well. Another one that I use uh, that I signed earlier. And this is the other one that had the exact same name as the first one I saw in the scat report. He comes in with a 58. That is good enough for me, pal. We are signing all these lads. Slut. Let's see their play styles. Power shot on the left striker. Ooh. Chip shot, incisive pass, bruiser, press proven, and aerial on Butayotti. Let's go, dude. He's only 5'9", and he has the aerial trait. Makes a lot of sense, but we'll take it. It's once again time to send the scout out. And this time, my friends, we are looking for center backs, okay? We need to strengthen the defense of this team as soon as we can. 
and we're sending them to the U.S. Virgin Islands. Of course, I'm looking for the most exotic names I can find, and so I can go ahead and put that island on the thumbnail as well. <laughs> Smart man. Are you sure about that? I've just gone ahead and simulated to the end of the season, and we are getting ourselves the last scout report, and the Virgin Islands are coming in immediately with Jacob Francis, who sadly is uh, coming up with the age of 15, so we can't use him for now, but that could be a big one for us. 200k on this one. How much money on these other ones, man? Can we get another big, big talent in before this season ends? It looks like we won't be able to, but I gotta tell you, I'm very happy about how things have gone in terms of the Youth Academy talents coming through that can help us out. 500k on this one. Let's go. We'll take that. 200k. I uh, obviously have multiple players here because I skipped past a couple of months, and we can just tell that possibly. Ooh, that could be a good one. And then Isaac Young, I'll sign him too. Okay, so let's check, let's check out the stats for this season before we go into the Youth Academy. 19th in the league, 51 points. Considering that I've dropped the overall rating of the team massively, I think this is actually quite fine, you know. This is good. So let's take a look at the performances. Actually, the ratings first. So... Chansung up to 62. Is it Chansung Nguyen? I'm so sorry if I pronounce it wrong. And now my favorite, Butayotti. <laughs> I love this one. He's up to a 59. Not much growth in him, but still. Roberts, 59. Williams, 59. And then our goalkeeper has gone up to a 64. So we can definitely attack next season knowing that we have a bunch of youngsters uh, who are going to be doing well for us. Now, the center backs, anyone? Yes. Oh, man, he's 15. I really hope that as we go into the next season, he's going to be 16 immediately. I need that guy on my team. But Morgan is going to be signed, 59. And then we'll take this 58 as well. And then the 57 rated cam, I'll keep on here. But yeah, we're going to wait for Francis. Got to say, for the first season, not too shabby. Went shopping around the world in terms of Youth Academy. And now we can go into season two and go into even more exotic countries. Countries? countries well we have been given 4.6 million or something going into this new season so we're gonna sign a new scout four star five star Yarko Heikinen so we can actually scout two different positions in this team and I'm thinking the uh second scout I'm gonna be looking for fullbacks possibly or CDMs actually I've made my decision I have sent the first scout to Uganda to look for a left back and I've sent the second scout to Vanuatu to look for a right back. I need to sort out the defense now. It has worked. I went two months ahead and we now have gotten ourselves this man, William Kahn. He is a five foot nine tall center back. Oh boy. He's going to be my Cannavaro. Let's sign him 1.2 million. Guys, these scouts are class. They are doing great work. And he also had a bunch right here from Uganda. Daniel Hassan. 300k we obviously need backups as well so he can come in but this one brian hassan coming in with the 825k value which is lovely and charles hassan everyone is a hassan and we are bringing him in as well so we have brought in a bunch of center backs and this should be good enough hopefully let's see what the ratings are so francis he obviously uh, at some point will be useful for us uh, uh, sorry, the other ones were fullbacks, not centre-backs. So yeah, Francis could be quite useful. Could straight away go into the starting 11 once he's 16. Khan, 63 rated. Right back, signed. Left back, this guy, Hassan. 78 to 94 potential. Yes, I love it. He is the one. And then the rest, I'm going to probably leave in here for a little bit more growth and then they can become good backups for us now we are in need of cdms and we are going to azerbaijan and faru islands those are the two countries that could genuinely finish off our team and fulfill it with all youth academy players from the rest of the world countries so i'm very excited hopefully we get a couple of good ones let's see if it's going to be two from one, one two from one country or two from different ones English. Finally, Francis is now 16. Guys, he's 65 rated. He's going to take over a center back spot immediately. But the others, I can't really say that many positive things, but some of them look to be very good backups for the future. That's Anar Oruyov is the last player from Azerbaijan and also the Faroe Islands. Both have completely failed. 
three months of scouting in both of them brought zero talents through. We have to find a new country to go to. Two new countries. And now both scouts are out again. This time for six months. Fiji and Indonesia. Yes, guys, we are sending them out there. I believe we have a couple of viewers from Indonesia as well. So shout outs to you guys. First talent from Indonesia is in. It is Tegu Ali. I also got this other Ali who is from Fiji, apparently. Hey, you guys might actually be connected to each other. Related, I should say. But Ali is coming in with a 63, and that goes straight into the team, lads. He is the first CDM to join us. I'm going to drop one of these guys, and he is going to be the one. What, what kind of play styles does he have? Power shot, intercept, bruiser. Perfect. I love it. 73 pace, 84 physicality. Even better at center back. But uh, that's not what I need. I need CDMs. Thanks. That's I tried, but I couldn't find another CDM to bring in. And the other one that we still have is this Ali, who maybe will have to become one of the players that we trust in. But he's potentially so madly low. Nah, he's not. He's just not the one. He's just not the one. But these guys are the ones. Chan Sung Noen up to a 69. Uta <laughs> Yoti. I will never get over that name. He is now a four-star skilling, five-star weak foot striker who looks ridiculous. Both our cams on a 65. I love that. Ali is up to a 65. Our defense looks incredibly strong with the addition of Francis. Hassan and Khan looking good. Khan looking much better, but he started off with a higher rating anyways. And our goalkeeper, who has been here as the first talent from Madagascar, is doing a great job too. So I wonder, where did we finish? Because I have no clue. Oh, promotion playoffs. We lost against Notts County. Where did we finish the season? Fourth. Oh, just on goal difference. We could have gotten guaranteed promotion. But you know what? We have been down here in League 2 for a long time. Our players had the chance to grow through this division. And we will smack it up next season. I am 100% sure about that. I'm just going to double check. 25 goals for Angoon. Then 15 and 7 for Klahan. Westbrook, the center mid, seems to have played as a cam. That's not ideal. Roberts, 7 and 10. And then we have center backs chiming in too, alongside Williams with six assists and two goals. So things are looking up in many positions. We just need one more CDM to fulfill the entire team. And we will use the next full season to find an insane one. Lads, these two countries surely help me this time around. This one is Montserrat or Montserrat. I'm sorry. I have, I gotta be honest, I'm decent at geography, but this is the first time I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm sending people out to this country because I felt like, hey, I want to see if we get something decent. And then we have sent another one out to Lesotho. Very exotic ones, I must say. Oh, by the way, something I didn't realize. There's two legs to the semifinal. We still didn't make it. Well, finally, after a couple of months, we have found our CDMs. Seatuke from Lesotho is the first one. And the second one is actually the same rating but has more potential. So things are looking up for the team. We have finally fulfilled a full starting 11 of players from countries that you normally cannot scout. So Bailey, I'm sorry, buddy. We're going to be putting in Senoli. I think he was the higher potential one. And then we actually have a decent amount of players from the Youth Academy that we can just pop onto the bench and just realize what we are still missing. So defensively, I think we are looking quite good, right? We have a center back, left back, CDM. We have a cam. Probably need to bring in like a center mid as uh, another, maybe another CDM. No, probably like strikers, right? Uh, cam and striker. That's something that we can go uh, go towards moving forward. But uh, the starting 11 now is ready to go. And I fully expect us to smash it now and just go from one promotion to the next. Doncaster has won the league title 96 points my friends i told you we're gonna run through divisions right now we're starting off with that run immediately our strikers are both above 70 chang sung noen on a 75 Putayoti on a 71 williams and roberts above 70 now the new cdms that have come in obviously quite low rated compared to the rest of the team hopefully they will catch up the same goes with with the likes of like george and hassan as well hopefully they can catch up to the rest our goalkeeper is the highest rated player in the team which is extremely important to have. So looking at all that, and now the stats as well, you can see 
Angon has dominated. Roberts, 25 goal contributions. But Deotti coming in with 23. That's, yep, that's how I'm going to say his name every time. And uh, we have Williams with 7 and 8. But most importantly, my centre-back has scored 8 goals, which is very impressive if you ask me. So I'm very excited to see what this team can do in League One. And things are looking up. We are looking at the likes of Doncaster in the first position with 99 points. 30 games have been won, nine draws and seven losses. Going up into the championship due to those incredible performances from our Youth Academy lads. We see that our goalkeeper is still the highest rated one, 83 rated. We do have quite a discrepancy between these players. Tenoli on a 70, Morgan on a 72, and then there's a massive gap. So I really hope that these guys can catch up anytime soon. But while these guys are growing, it's tough to catch up, to be fair. But this team is ready for championship football, and it's immediately ready for promotion from that point on as well, in case things go well. So we are looking at our striker. Utayotti is the one coming in with a plus six, but 26 and 10 this season. Better than Angon, who has been dominating so far. And then Roberts, amazing season. 14 and 12. 5 and 11 from Williams as well. And then it's Francis once again. Nine goals as a center back. I don't know how he does it, but he's already becoming one of my favorite players. Well, by the way, I have found two backup strikers now. Hasavi coming in from Oman, 64 rated. We love to see that promoted. And then we have Hosea David coming in from Namibia. And he has lots of potential, but a low rating. Still good enough for us, especially for the future, to future-proof the striking position when those guys up top get injured. I believe last season we had 99 points, right? This season, 100. And that gets us direct promotion into Premier League football. Lads, we are now at that stage where things are going to go crazy, where we're going to play against some of the teams with the most money. And we are playing with Youth Academy players from not the biggest countries that play football. So this is going to be quite interesting as we move into it. The team itself. All right, so Morgan, 75. Tenoli, 77. Those are the lowest rated players. I can deal with that. Next season, these guys could easily grow. Him, I mean, Morgan could go up to 78. Tenoli past the 80. And then we're looking good because the rest of the team is insane. Zafi Mihari, the man from Madagascar, is currently on an 86. Francis, the other centre-back who's insane, who's scoring all the goals, is on an 85. A striker is on an 86, and then the rest of the team is just in between that 80 to 85 range, which is great. On the bench, we're not necessarily looking amazing. I mean, this is not Premier League level bench, but hopefully these guys will keep on growing, which is going to be a big plus for us. And stats... There we go. 27 and 9. Chan Sung Noen coming in with 24 and 3. Roberts 21 and 8. The man from Trinidad and Tobago. And then Ali or CDM has gotten a couple of goals. Williams with 16 assists. The best provider in our team. And then the rest of the bench coming in with five goals. Hafsavi, very impressive. I like it. Guys, we are now a Premier League club. I have to admit, I was kind of hoping for a miracle this season of us going ahead and winning the Prem, but that didn't happen. Guys, we finished in the eighth position. That is okay. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, thinking that we could go all the way up there, but Manchester United have won it, which is quite interesting. 56 points on us. Now, eighth, I don't think it's Conference League. It might. I always get that wrong, but our team is getting nothing wrong. Chan Sung Nguyen, 91. Our goalkeeper, 89. Roberts on the left attacking midfield position, 86 rated. Khan on an 87. Those are our highest rated players alongside Francis, who is now an 89. This team is well and truly ready for European football. On the bench, we have a couple of people who have grown nicely, actually, which I really do appreciate. But guys, I want to know. Who has been the main reason as to why we have made it all the way up there? Angon Chan Sung Noen is the one who actually got back above Utayotti. Yes, because that man was the better player last season, I believe. And does anyone else think he looks like Mikel San Jose? Bro, this is the biggest throwback. Is that Mikel San Jose trying to make his way back into my career mode videos? If you are an OG of this channel, 
you will remember. Well, this season clearly has gone a little bit better. We are in the second position, guys. Doncaster has qualified for Champions League football and things are looking up. Manchester City on 75 points. They have won the title. We have a four point gap to them, but it's all fine because our team is ridiculous right now. Now, the only position that's low rated anymore is Morgan. He needs to step it up. And Sinoli finally is going along with the rest of the team. He's about the rating of Ali. That's good. Hassan actually also a little bit further down, but still this team could easily go far in Champions League football. I mean, our strikers are both now above the 90 rating, which is ridiculous. Our cams are all above 86. CDM's above 86. Khan is on a 90. And I'm just wondering, who do I want to be the captain of the team? I gotta be real. I think I want the San Jose fake to be my captain. That would be quite fun. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Who has gotten us this far? The Premier League this was a great season for us. And Butayotti, 30 and 7. Chan Sung Nguyen, 24 and 5. Roberts, 14 and 11. Those are the top three performers this year. I'm very pleased with how things are going. And I am fully expecting a great Champions League season. We got past Dortmund and now have beaten Liverpool in the first leg of the Champions League. Guys, it is happening. 4-3. That was the quarterfinal. Come on now. Youth Academy beasts. You can do this. Come on, lads. Juventus. Yes, first game is a win. This is it. Semi-final. Yes. 4-2 in the end, guys. This is incredible. We have gotten ourselves into Champions League final football. Great work from the team. Years of building up this squad of Youth Academy talent has gotten us to this point. If you watched until now, smash that like if you can. That'd be much appreciated. And we're playing against Getafe. I have never played against a technically worse team or more unexpected team in the Champions League final. That is something crazy to me. But what's crazy is this team. Look at the ratings on these players. I mean, I'm sorry, but it looks ridiculous. Everyone five star, five star? Yes. Everyone in midfield at attack, five star, five star. And defenders having the five star weak foot as well. All these guys. Oh, chip shot plus. Why? Why do they have chip shot plus as center backs? Okay. Another one with a chip shot plus at the. Okay, so I guess I just need to run forward with my guys and uh, take a lobbed shots. And then we have. Why does everyone have chip shot plus? <laughs> what is going on here? Is this some sort of glitch? Wait, I'm so confused. None of these guys had the chip shot earlier when I looked at their stats. Why does everyone have it now? What kind of weird glitch is... Okay, anyways, it doesn't matter, bro. It really doesn't. Stats wise, 30 and 5, 25 and 2, 7 and 15, 11 and 13. Incredible work from the team, but hold on. Premier League title holders, please, please. Yes, we have won the Prem. This could be a double season. Yes, lads, FA Cup, probably not. No, Carabao Cup, maybe treble. Nope, no treble. Double is fine with me. I don't know why everyone has the chip shot plus. If I wanted to add any play styles, I would have told you about it. So I don't know what the hell is going on here, but we will take it. And we will also take on this Getafe team. Who do you have? Oh. It's a bunch of regens alongside Paintsil, Clark, Pedrosa, Neho instead, Zanotti, and Mere, and Diambu. This is the oddest team I've ever played in a Champions League final, and I'm very excited about it. Off we go, guys. Doncaster, let's see what you can pull off against this Getafe team. I honestly don't know what to expect, but I have to say, I really like the home kits that we have. They look great. So all I need to do in this Champions League final is to get into a position where I can lob the keeper and I can guarantee myself a goal. You know that I'm definitely going to be giving it a try to get myself a nice lobbed shot. That's mine. That is mine. Let's go. Down the right. Williams. Back into our striker. Who will score? It's Mikel San Jose. <laughs> yes. He looks exactly like him. I swear to God. He looks like a young Mikel Santos San Jose. Let's go, lads. 1-0. Champions League final. 
with a bunch of Youth Academy players that should have never existed. Oh, here goes Painsil, a fast player, but not necessarily someone I fear when it comes to him going in front of goal. I don't know what the hell happened there. I'm chasing it. And they hit the post. Wake up, defense. Yes, come on. Williams is running. Williams is running. Too much space given to him. He smacks it into the top left. What a beautiful moment. 28 minutes in. Doncaster, you're doing it. This youth academy team is pulling it off. I'm so proud. I feel like a proud dad. Oh, no. Stop it. No, not très tough. Oh, I thought they nearly got it there. Ali. Nice one, Ali. Come at me. Yes, defender. Come at me. All of you. Chipped. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm trying to chip him from two yards out. Just shoot. Let's deal. Get involved. Get involved, San Jose. Yes, buddy. You have it under control. Run. 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 I'm sorry that I'm saying San Jose, but he literally is. Mikel. San Whoa. Chang. Please. You're better than that. Senoli. Good pass. Roberts. Oh what a beauty. 3-0 Doncaster. This trophy belongs to us. The double is nearly secured. Chance on going into Mikel San Jose. Butayoti. <laughs> what? Are oh, you kidding? No freaking way. It is 4-0. Chansung does deserve this man. He did so much for us throughout the years. And now Chansung Nguyen has scored as well. Nah, don't concede. Don't concede. Offside. Ha <laughs> ha. Loser. Chipped. Ah, nothing. Game is done though. And now the part where Mikel San Jose slash Butayotti gets to lift the trophy. I gotta say, this might have been one of my favorite rebuilds so far i love it this was so much fun thank you guys so much for watching the youth academy rebuilds are always a ton of fun to go through and i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did please smash that like and most importantly as we finish off the video your boy is getting madly active on instagram you can ask a couple hundred people now who've been contacting me through dms about working out and all that stuff and i'm so happy to respond to you guys so get involved link in the description down below at Johnny Sports. Thank you, Mikel San Jose and Don Casta and all these incredible talents from all around the world. Have a good one. Take care and peace.